Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Walker from Ball Dungeon Guide, I'm going to take a look at Nomragan on a Blackrock week, and more specifically, a rent Blackhand army that I got full golden with almost three levels below the dungeon level. So this is my rent army and these other relics that I got on the final run. I'm using Pyromancer, Whelp Eggs, Bat Rider, Plague Farmer, Prowler, and Safe Pilot. I actually started using Prowler because it was my highest level tank mini, so I got a little bit more bonus levels. But as I did that, I noticed that Prowler is actually pretty decent at taking some towers in map 2, so I ended up keeping it in the comp and it performed admirably. Obviously punching up almost 3 levels requires some good relics, especially the Arcane Crystal to give me a lot more damage. But this is the army that I climbed all the way with Rend. So I did level 19, level 20, level 21, until level 22 with this as well. So it does function even with some weaker relic sets. This is what it all looks like in action. So here we go, it's Nomragan time. I was lucky enough to pick up the Arcane Crystal already for the first boss, which is going to make this quite trivial. But overall my strategy remains the same. I tried to take the Meeting Stone, I tried to make pushes from both sides with range units, and I tried to grab those shields as quickly as possible. Because if you leave those shields up for too long, then the boss is going to get free safe pilots that are going to jump at those shields. So here we go, we're fighting for the Meeting Stone. So far so good, except that the Meeting Stone fight is actually going really poorly right now. Well, I have had cleaner cleaner fights of this as well. I actually tried this already yesterday. I was stuck at the second boss yesterday because I didn't get good relics, but this boss I was able to do with any any set of relics, basically. Here we see that shield, and I want to, want to get that shield immediately, as soon as possible, so that there wouldn't be a safe pilot spawning there. That shield I would love to grab, but it looks like I'm going to be too late, because the window is only only some seconds. I am a little bit too late there, and Prowler... Yeah, when their safe pilot gets that shield, it's really hard to, hard to fight against that. But we have some ranged DPS at the boss, and boss is already taking a good chunk of damage, and I can also start throwing Welbecks at it, I can start throwing safe pilots at it when I have the time, and eventually the boss is just going to crumble, crumble under all of that pressure between the whelps and the safe pilots and some range DPS. So now boss is already low enough that I know that, okay, if I can defend a little bit, then I will just be able to finish the boss with my unbound minis. I don't even need an assault force at this point. Typically, in many of these Nomragan boss fights, once the boss goes low enough, you start just defending and use your unbounds to finish the boss off. No, because you are often starting to lose control of some meeting stones, losing control of some towers. The bosses just have so much stuff to throw at you, it's really hard to maintain full control for an extended period of time. But here, the unbound minis finish the boss off, and that's boss number one. And on to the second boss, the most difficult of the bosses, I have found that Prowler actually does quite a decent job against these rocket towers. It surprises the rocket tower, and see how much DPS it's getting in. Prowler is currently one level below the rocket tower. Prowler is my highest level mini here, but it almost took down the rocket tower by itself. And then we just add a little bit more punch, and boom, rocket tower goes down. And that's really crucial, because if you fail to take either of the towers fairly early, then typically the boss is just going to overwhelm you. Overall, this boss is just going to try to overwhelm me a lot. I mean, it's really hard to even hold to the towers once you get them. But now we're getting a good start. We have both towers, and it looks like we're holding the center defense as well. But now, then the question becomes, can we hold the towers while starting to push at the boss? So here, obviously, now I have the Welpex available, and I have the safe pilots available, so I can also get some unbound pressure on the boss at some points. But... Yeah, that, that Bat Rider a little bit too early because the Mountaineer one-shots the Bat Rider now that the Bat Rider has vulnerability. So, actually, even if it didn't have vulnerability, just because of the level difference. So yeah, the fight continues. Even when, once you get the towers for first time, it's, it's kind of hard to keep them. And those Harvest Golems, what's up with the Harvest Golems at the boss fight anyway? Why are the boss's Harvest Golems always superstars and mine are never? I, I don't know. But either way, just look at the damage that Harvest Golem can take. Here we go again. We're trying to push at the boss. I positioned the Bat Rider poorly again there. And that is not going to cost me a tower, it seems. I think it's going to be fine. But the Harvest Golem. That Harvest Golem. The Harvest Golems can just kill bases all by themselves. It's, it's remarkable. 
So whenever you see a harvest going, you need some troops to answer that. But look at the Prowler again. Sure, it dies relatively quickly, but it surprises the boss. It also stuns the boss for a moment. If, you, if I was able to get a coordinated push going, that would be wonderful with the Prowler. And the boss is taking a lot of damage. So I lose a tower again, but I have units that are able to take the tower back. I'm about to lose the other tower too, though. So, yeah, things are not going perfectly, but I still believe we have the boss fairly low, so I can start to get, again, boss is fairly low, we're struggling to maintain our presence, but I can start getting some unbounds out there. And now that we have some unbounds going at the boss, boss's health is going lower and lower, and it's a victory. Second boss down. Only one boss remains. And this third boss is simply a game of whack-a-mole. You try to break the containers and just keep keep minis on both sides so that they will keep breaking the containers and try to mine whenever possible so that you will keep enough gold supply so that you have those minis coming on both sides. Only ground units can break the containers. Apparently flying units might also be able to break container if they shoot the ground unit next to them. I still haven't been able to verify that, but that's what was said in one of the comments. But yeah, it's it's not easy to get that ha to happen. Anyway, I'm still using some bat riders because bat riders are very cheap and they give me a little bit of DPS so that I can handle some of those boss minis. Here we go. We just keep ruffling back and forth, back and forth. Getting some minis on the board. Pyromancer, Plague Farmer, excellent minis here because they are slow. And the boss is going to kill everybody who gets close anyway. So when you have slow minis, then they will spend a lot of time near the containers and they will be able to break them. So here we go again. Now there's that one container really close to the boss and I want that. So I send a Prowler, which is fast mini. Typically not super strong here, but look at that. Prowler taking three of those down. And then uh, a bit too close to the boss, so couldn't kill the Ogre Mage. Almost got the Ogre Mage too, though. So, all right. We're getting some stuff done, and we're going to mine a little bit, and I'm checking what kind of mini I need. I guess I need a Prowler there and a slow mini on this side. Prowler going in fast, challenging the tank, and taking some of those containers. And look at that. Prowler kills the tank. Um, doesn't get the container, actually, because the Ogre Mage was just there in time. But still, did a good job. Did a really good job. Losing a couple of those containers there, but it's it's no big deal. It's fine. I mean, the boss is already almost dead. Prowler wins the race. So I now that I have Prowler and I have these slow minis, I can choose. I can send a fast mini out there sometimes. I can send slow minis whenever I need presence early, whenever I need lasting presence. I really like this comp for the third boss, and the third boss goes down. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.